We got a storm brewing there, crew. She's getting rough, the sea. This mistress is pissed. She's learned about me other mistress, me ship. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Fishing Barren Sea. We're back again, nearing the end of our series in Fishing Barren Sea, and today we're working towards a trawler. And if you want to see the trawler or just more of this relaxing fishing simulator, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's just hop right in, get to as much as we can. I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. I'm not settling for this chumpy crewmate. I was gonna buy a third crewmate, but um, turns out no. Local fishermen would like me to deliver sorted fish to Hammerfest within five days. Nah, we already did that. I'm okay. I am going to buy some fuel. All right, let's get this little half boat rolling. Uh-oh, we're getting too close to the wall. Too close to the wall. We're taking damage. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe the tires saved me. <laughs> I could, it wouldn't go straight. I swear the waves were pushing me in. I've been playing a little bit off camera, trying to earn some money, earn some kilometers so we can work towards big old Betsy. And um, I've noticed that they might have updated the waves a little bit because holy crap was it getting wavy while I was doing my net fishing. But that's okay. Nothing I can't handle in my half boat. Um, we're still rocking the same two crew. They added new icons, so we're not just eating fish burgers anymore. We're eating other things as well, which is great. So we are currently leaving Ackerfjord. And uh, they didn't have any upgrades. That's my fault. I should have bought some upgrades in Hammerfest. But we are going to go and collect some fishes. Even though it doesn't want to let me collect the fishes. There we go. We're going to go collect some fishes. And then we're going to drive and we're going to check out some other ports. And if you can see under here, there is this big boat called Open Water. Now, I don't know if our boat can handle the open water, but we might go one two, three, and check out basically everything. There is just one more port over there that we might not get to today, but I kind of want to see the open water as well as it's September now, so we could go try and find ourselves some cod. They're going to be on the rise, as you can see. Lots of cod over here, but we're going to be looking out in the big deep water. That's where the big fish are. So enough, enough map gazing. Actually, let's just fast travel. We're going to have a lot of chance to, to do some traveling without fast travel. So let's just get that done. Um, we're just going to prep our crew over here. One, two, buckle their shoes. And all oh, the waves are pushing me. We're good. We got it. See what I mean though? The waves seem a lot more extreme. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Maybe they just adjusted the buoyancy of the boats so we're able to sink into the water more. Maybe the waves aren't actually bigger. I don't know, but it makes me nervous trying to go into open water with this thing. Look at this crew, hard at work. Oh, they're done. All right, so we're going to put our main man over on the machine. And we're going to get her to start stacking. While they do that, we're going to head on out to our new area. Oh yeah, we can't do that so we just got to kind of go northeast ish around this here cliff thing so let's go discover a new world we'll sell them some fish hopefully they can sell me some upgrades because i would at least like a new engine upgrade another thing that they did upgrade or update in the game is the fish quotas they changed them so that each boat has its own fish quotas instead of carrying over from boat to boat as you progress and upgrade and to make it fair they reset everybody's quotas so we got lots of room to catch some fish which is great before we're overfishing 
They also updated the capacity of especially this boat, I believe. Maybe all of them. I can't remember. But this one has a lot. As you can see, we took in a whole net there. And I think that was 165 foot net. I think that was a big net. It wasn't in a super high populated area. But it was a big net. And it barely just about did a quarter. Almost. You could just sit here and watch this forever. My engine propeller is coming out of the water. <laughs> I think they might have messed with the buoyancy a little too much. Whoa! We got a whole family of whales over here. Hello. Are you friendly? Are you killer whales? Uh. Looks like some of you might be dolphins. Look at the size of that one fin, though. Oh, my God. It's a mama and his babies, and we're riding together. We're carpooling. Boat, boat, pool. There's some kind of joke in there with a pool and water and whales and a boat. I'm with the birds. Damn, they got loud. Oh, there it is right there. Don't attack me. Are you coming right at me, or are we just going together again? Are you the same family? What's going on here? I'm gonna catch ya. Man, the harpoons! Now the baby is all alone. Fresh meat, boys. Easy kill. Just kidding. We're not gonna kill the whale. Not to mention, it's probably impossible since they always dive out of the way. It's like we're having a dream. I don't ever want to wake up, Jack. It's like the good old days. When it was you, me, and your art book. Oh, draw me, Jack. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. All right, so um, I'm noticing a potential issue here. There appears to be rocks in the water. We need to come in here. Do I go around or do I risk it for the biscuit? They don't look too bad from here. I think we might risk it for the biscuit. We're not a small boat, but we're not a big boat. So anything could happen. There appears to be some whale guardians. Um, hopefully they will let us pass. I come in peace. I come bearing fish. Feed them, boys. Feed them out the bottom. Feed them. Oh my god, this one looks massive. Oh, that's not even... It's one of those unicorn poles. Um, so I guess we're going to want to try and stay in the middle here and hope for the best. Don't hit any rocks. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? All right, we're, we're good. We made it. And we're basically here. Look at this quaint little town again. Such a lovely place. If I was super wealthy and never had to work a day in my life, I would want to live in a nice little place like this, you know? Quiet. Maybe have, like, instead of, like, like do, like, the reverse of what everyone else does. People want to live in the city, and then they have a cottage that they go to or whatever to get away. I would rather do the opposite. Live somewhere small, quiet, you know, chill. And then have a place in the city where you can go to have some fun and be around some people and then once you get sick of it after a couple of days or so you go back that's the life right there hopefully this place is big enough to actually have some some options as far as upgrades and stuff they have a pretty big boat is that dry docked no it's in the water well, we're gonna find out though and hopefully they do because then we can actually get to the other place a little bit faster because well, that may not have seemed like a very long time for you guys. You could probably get an idea of how long it's taken me in the last little bit I've been talking to go not very far at all. These places are noisy. Holy crap, for a small town, they make a lot of noise. I feel like this might be kind of like what we're upgrading to next. Right here. Which would be amazing. I mean, for 14 million, it better be something special oh it got quite oh no it's back it's back Ooh, get a speedboat hey there's cars there's people would you look at that 
Who would have thought? It's very bright. I feel like I'm watching this through an overexposed camera. But that's okay, we're here. <clears throat> At Force, Force Soul. Something like that. We're gonna dock. We're gonna sell. We actually have some cod from that net that we got. I want to see one, because we've seen all these when we were smacking them in the head, but we haven't seen a cod yet. We gotta, we gotta see one. So we made not a ton of money, but this is, we're, we're newbies here. Oh my god, why do you gotta do this to me every time? Incoming! Alright, well, while that sorts itself out, I'm gonna go here. Might as well refuel, because we're gonna go on, like, quite a long journey. None of these ports have anything. They're, they're all trash. We also had a name suggestion, so we need to change it to the Wonker Fish. I like it. I wish I could get this O and put it there, but I don't know how to do that. So we're going to leave it like that. Apply it. Beautiful. The Wonker Fish. And you know that another boat is coming, so if you want to think of a name ahead of time, we know it's going to be big. And I think it's blue, like that one that we saw. It could be the one that we saw. Who knows? So there is one good thing at this town. There seems to be quite some options as far as hiring people goes. Holy. This guy is pretty good at machine gutting. This one, stacking and net hauling. We got Bart Simpson, that's what I'm gonna call him. Stacking, hauling, like, machine gutting. He's basically good at everything that I need. Except for repairing, we need a mechanic, but we'll worry about that later. We don't, we're not, we don't have a ton of damage anyways, so it's not a big deal. We already have a female who's good at cooking. I don't know why all the female characters seem to be always good at cooking. She's not, here we go. Her cooking skill is the lowest. There we go, fighting, fighting the mold. I like it. But I think this guy's the best one to go for. He's actually not too expensive on his rate, etc. I like that option. He seems like a good cho- Every time I accidentally click off my screen, I think the game crashed. <laughs> but we're good. We're back. So I couldn't upgrade. I couldn't get the better sonar or anything. Basically, just a failure. That's alright. We have one more stop to make before we maybe risk the the open waters gulp um, and hopefully hopefully they have an upgrade place <laughs> I don't even know what it's called this place had good workers though I stole one of your people they're mine now I have kidnapped them I am harboring them on my boat deal with it well farewell little port thanks for nothing I'll probably never come back because you're kind of out of the way and you suck. Eh, I'll probably come back. Maybe not. No promises. You hear that, Bart Simpson? You may never come home. So unfortunately, I don't have any jobs for them to do. But um, they're going to be well rested. Also, our main man over here has moved up in the world as far as stamina goes. We're turning him into a hard worker. So... Back out into the open water, on to port number two. We might drop some net lines as well, if I come across any special spots. This is where it could get interesting though, because if it gets at all rough out here, it's gonna get rough, because we're going out to potentially where we won't even be able to see land either way. I don't know if we'll get that far, but we'll see. Tune in later, because you can't see anything there. You can barely see that. And you can see all this, obviously. Boy, oh boy, do I wish that I could have upgraded the engine. The waves are getting a little rougher out here, though. We've made pretty good progress. I mean, since you last looked, at least. Heading out into what basically just looks like the end of the world. It's so cool how the world does that effect, proving that the world is round, not flat. However... Have you seen the guy's theory about the water on like a round surface and then water on a plate? Try and poke try and poke holes in that logic. Maybe we just don't have very good draw distance as humans. We got a storm brewing there, crew. She's getting rough, the sea. This mistress is pissed. 
She's learned about me other mistress. Me ship. Every town has to have their novelty. This one has giant green crayons. It's pretty cool, I guess. Let's make sure we don't go crashing into this port here. I kind of do want to crash a boat one of these times, just, just, just to see what happens. I think you just hit it and it just takes away health from your boat. It's probably not very exciting. But you never know. Could be fun. Could happen on accident. Who knows? But we finally made it to our final port of the day. Thank you. Because I was coming in way too hot. As you'll find out right here. Oop. Into the tire. So we sold some fish. No, we didn't sell some fish. But we did. I did lay down some lines. They have a couple of crew here. This guy's pretty good. Ooh, mechanic. Mechanic. Well, when we get the bigger ship, we can do that. Oh, and there's a couple of jobs here. Local fisherman wants fish delivered to Hammerfest. To keep up production, enforce all fishery is in desperate need of additional fish. Fishery will pay twenty-eight sixty per kilogram if you deliver 960 kilogram of cod to Forsal within seven days. Which was, I think, the last port we came from. So that's tempting. Let's see if we can actually upgrade our ship. Of course not. Why, why would any other port, except for the one that you start in, have ship upgrades? That's just ridiculous, you know? Can I take both jobs? That's the question. I'm going to accept this job. Yes. And accept this job? Dang. Dang. Because I could have killed two birds with one stone, potentially. But we should be able to catch that cod with those nets that I have out. Unfortunately, again, we can't do any of that. We're going to go claim those nets. How long do I need? We're going to try skipping ten hours. We're going to go collect these fish. And then we're going to go sell the fish. No, we're going to go out to open sea. And then we'll, I'll sell the fish after. Do the job. Maybe we'll do the job first because we can fast travel. It's not the end of the world. But we are right by the open sea here, so hopefully this fish that we're about to go pick up doesn't slow us down too much and we can go check it out. Alright, we're out here doing some night fishing. We're going to uh, try and line this up get the crew sorted. Actually, we have a better net hauler now, so we'll put the two best net haulers on the job. We'll put you on repair for now, because we did take a little bit of damage coming over here. I think it's just general wear and tear, though. Nothing to be concerned about. Nothing to insult me about in my driving skills. Oh boy, these waves are feeling big. I don't know if that's just... Alright, we got it. I think, yes, we are hauling it in. I'm gonna try and see if I can go downstairs and see it though. <laughs> go, quickly, quickly. This is not very quickly. Ah, look at them hard at work. Oh, we caught enough fish for the job already. Look at that, that was just one net. I wanted to see the cod, but dang, they are too quick for me. So they finished their work. We'll put them on a quick little rest here as I line this next bad boy up. Oh boy. These waves are going to be hitting us from the side right now, and oh my goodness, we are rocking the boat. If the boat starts a rocking, hold on for dear freaking life. That's that's what you should do. So we'll put our two best guys on the job again. Let's see if we can see a cod. Get get this out of the way. Oh my god, that thing was huge. That was probably the cod. Well, that redfish looks pretty big too. Those are the little skinny guys I think that we've always seen. Come on, show me another cod. Show me another cod. No. Oh my god, it's huge. The cod are massive, I love it. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I forgot to arrange these people into doing things. That's... That's my fault. Well, we'll just... I guess, damn it. We'll put him on the gutting. 
and uh, we'll just have these two haul in the net. They'll do it. They'll do just a fine job. Oh, look at that. New certificate, the lunar bow and spoilers. Look at that. We started off with this little thing. This one probably like twice the size of this thing. So you can think of names for it because we're going to have to find a way to buy it now. This guy's just standing in the <laughs> damn table, but he's working hard. And I think he just finished actually. So let's put him, well, he's going to have more to gut in a second. Are you tired? Yeah, you're tired. Sucks to be you, I guess. We'll give him, no, he doesn't get the pizza. You can have one of these things. I think it's a sandwich. You can have that. Um, everybody else is going to work. And we are going to take our fish to the open water. Oh, yeah, we, we can't just do that. I forgot. But it's somewhere out in this direction. We're going to find out once and for all if the earth is flat or round. Join me. Oh my god, we are finally approaching the boat. Oh my god. That took so long. We're also probably about halfway through our fuel, which is a little bit on the scary side as well. But I have to see, I came all the way out here just to show those of you that stuck around exactly what is out here in the open water. And I hope it's not just like... Okay, you're you're here. This is it. <laughs> We're going to find out though. We're definitely going square on to this boat symbol. And I'm hoping that there's going to be like a maybe would you like to travel to open water kind of dialogue that comes up. I guess we will see. So far not so good. I mean, I'm driving directly over this ship. It must be underwater. Sunken ship. Moment of silence. So is that it? Is this... This is just... This is the open water right here. This is what I drove all the way out here for. What a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Well... I guess we are safe to say that that's it, folks. I guess over here is the open water, and maybe you can catch some bigger fish. Maybe this is where you gotta go to do trawling. But that seems to be it for this episode, folks. If you want to see trawling and you want to see the bigger boat, do me a favor. Tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember what we rely on. Net profits. Take her easy. Three hours. Oh my god. <laughs>